Ron Devins here at JTEC. Today we're going to go over a little PMI. We're going to be checking the tread depth and how it works is it just goes in here. It goes in 30 seconds in our, uh, what we're looking for on the, uh, any axle besides the steer. The steer are 4 30 seconds and these are 2 30 seconds. So we're going to check the tire here on three spots in the middle of it. We'll go here, we'll press it down and we'll see that it's about 7 right here. We'll go down here check it and that's about seven as well go over here check it and that is about seven as well so that's good we're uh within the spec we're looking for here and uh so dot won't look for us and it's all even wear so we're not having no uneven wear also uh anywhere on the tire while we're here you also do a visual inspection of the tire make sure there ain't no cuts in it uh, no puncture holes or nothing that's going to cause the tire to explode or damage or nothing like that while you're going down the road. Uh, next thing you can check also while you're down here is the pump level. Just pull this cap right off. And this should be a quarter inch up the finger. I don't want to stick my finger in there right now at all that nasty grease, but we can tell it's full here as it's just torn out a little. It's a good time to just wipe that stuff down while you're down here, you know, so it's less greasy. And also while you're back here, you can do a visual inspection of the brakes and check the slack adjusters and everything. Uh, just, you know, give it a good little quick uh, inspection. While you're also here, you want to check the tires for uh, your uh, tire uh, pressure. And uh, it's all going to go by what your fleet recommends. Usually these tires are recommended for 100 PSI, so you want to check that. And anything under 80 is considered flat, and you're supposed to remove the tire and replace it. So just as good to uh, keep up with your checks on your PMI. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys.